In this video, we're going to do a recap of the five-part coaching series that we used to launch this channel back in January uh, 2020, of course. So if you participated with us in that series, then this video is going to give you a great refresher that you can use to re-engage so that you maximize the results that you receive from that, uh, from that series. Now, if you didn't participate with us, uh, then what this will do is this video is going to give you a nice glimpse of what you can look forward to by going down to the description and actually walking through that free five-part video coaching series with us. So, without further ado, as they say, let's do this. Hey everybody, it's Coach Michael and I'm glad you're here. So for those of you that participated with us in that series, please pause that video real quick, this video, and go grab your, your books, your journals, your notes, whatever it was that you used uh, to make this personal as you walk through the original series with us. If you did not walk through the series, then go ahead and grab a couple of sheets of paper or at least one to take some notes so that you're a half step ahead of the game when you go down to uh, to the links and actually walk through the series. So go grab that real quick. Okay, so hopefully you grabbed your notes. I'm actually going to do the same here. Uh, or if you weren't participating, hopefully you grabbed a, uh, a sheet of paper that you can uh, take some notes with. Bear with me here because I put notes on my cell phone and sure can't read them without these. So if you remember in video one, we actually walked through a three-step process that you could use to have your best year yet. There was no drama involved, remember? It was just simple, proven steps that you can use in any area of your life. So the, the step number one to it was to get perfectly clear, get a perfectly clear picture of what you wanted for yourself, for your life, one year later, right? And keeping that vision in mind, then we asked you specifically to picture that and, and ask yourself four key questions, right? Okay. Question number one with that vision in mind was, where are you? Geographically, physically, where are you at? Okay. One year from now, if you've had the best year of your life, are you in the same places? Are you picturing the exact same locations that you spend all your time in right now? If that's what you want, great. If you're at looking for some changes and some progress in life, then what you pictured should have been different locations. Question number two was who's with you, right? Okay. Um, when, when you're thinking about that, are you with the same friends, the same business associates, hopefully the same family, Hopefully, same friends, maybe some new ones. Okay, question number three in all that was actually picturing that they're complimenting you because you've just had the best year ever, you know, that you've ever had. What are they saying to you? What's the conversation? Again, if it's the same exact conversations you're having today, then you're not picturing yourself having progressed, having had the best year yet. So they should be complimenting you on the great things that you actually uh, had accomplished throughout the year. And then question number four was simply, if you're in that setting a year from now, after the best year you've ever had, what is it that's so different? Actually truly writing out what is so much different from the picture that you have of yourself today. Okay. So step number two was to do something different. Now, I gave you a call to action, right? I requested that you go down to the notes and that you actually answer very, very bullet point, you know, detailed, but very sh a short or, or condensed version of your answers down in the comments. Why would I ask that? because it's something outside of your comfort zone. It's something you're not used to doing. So 
Did you do it? Did you go down to the comments and share in the comments? Did you even answer the questions on your own? I'm going to be blunt. If you didn't, you lose. Okay? The, the whole point of coaching is to teach you steps to move you forward. Okay? No matter how difficult they seem or no matter how simple they seem. See, most people expect things to be difficult, so they're willing to try it. But when we share with them something that seems so simple that they can't grasp how that would make a change in their life, typically, most people, they won't actually engage. And therefore, they'll get no progress. So, if you didn't do that, then prepare to do that now. Because those simple little steps is what's going to move you forward. So, step number three was simply to repeat steps one and two. What do I mean by that? It, was, it seems so simple. Why would we ask you to do that and how can it help? The fact is, people, most people, when they're willing to walk through this process and they actually go back and they repeat getting that clear picture and then they repeat the four questions and then actually doing something outside their comfort zone that moves them in that direction, that, that keeps them engaged in that, they actually expand upon their answers. They expand upon that vision. Right? That's what we're looking forward to doing. Small incremental steps. And what it does is it trains your conscious mind to picture yourself in a better place, which you typically don't do. We tend to lean towards the negative. We tend to think of the worst things that could happen. So this forces your, you consciously to picture yourself somewhere better. And by doing that repeatedly, it actually trains your subconscious mind to accept a belief that this is okay, that this is safe, that this is actually what things are supposed to look like for you. And then you're, con it, 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 you're teaching yourself better habits, better conscious and subconscious habits. And then your subconscious mind goes to work for you creating situations, scenarios, and experiences that will put you in that better place. And that's what you're looking for, right? Okay, there were two other things that we shared with you in that, uh, in that first session, that first video. And that was, number one, the fact that this is the simplest way of looking at the three steps that every high achiever uses to actually get the results that they do. That number one is simply that they get perfectly clear on what it is they want for themselves and their lives, right? Number two is they actually commit to doing things differently. And they take those things and uh, they, they persist at them and they do them consistently over and over and over so that they get momentum and, and they continue to do them until that transformation kicks in, right? And then the final thing that we talked about, we actually talked about at the beginning of the video though, was a high performance life hack, something that, uh, that a lot of people use and, and you seldom hear it talked about, but that is to think of themselves as a business right? To think of their, their lives and their habits and their activities as a business. And what do I mean by that? Well, most people look at themselves where they are today and then they consider, what do I need to do to move forward in life, to get to where I want to go? Using this as the starting point. Businesses don't work that way. Entrepreneurs don't do it that way. They look at the picture you know, a year, three years, five years out. They look at that picture and they use that as their starting point. And they say, okay, to get these, uh, these results, these experiences, how do I go backwards and what steps do I need to take? That way, every step they take is taken from a perspective of already understanding what the experience should be rather than starting from here and trying to figure out moving forward. Does that make sense? 
So that was video number one. So if you remember in session two, we covered a ton of material. And what we did is we looked at a high performance technique for getting super clear in three key areas of your life. So we were carrying over from session one and we actually made lists, right? We got super clear on, actually, let me look at my notes on this matter of fact. So I hope you grabbed yours. We got super clear on what it was you wanted for your life. We got uh, some clarity on the gaps between that vision that you made for a year from now versus the current results that you're getting. And then we also looked at, uh, at the challenges that you may face. So, well, and, and the resources that you, uh, that you have to actually overcome them. So let's take a look at the list that we created to do that. So list number one was we called our typical daily schedule, right? Okay, we had 24 lines, um, started at either midnight or whatever time you got up, and we created a list based on an hour at a time of what your normal daily schedule looked like, right? We were, we were clear that it doesn't have to be perfect because we know day shift, but we looked at a typical type of day for ourselves, and then we actually used some highlights to take the, the experiences and, and the things that we did in our day that we want to actually expand upon, that we want more of, and we highlighted those as green. And then the items that, or the experiences that we wanted to keep, we were happy with, but we wanted them to stay at about the same uh, amount of experience or investing the same amount of time. We highlighted them as, those as yellow with anything that was an experience that we had that we kind of determined we knew we needed to keep yet we wanted to minimize that we used the color orange to highlight those and then we used red for anything that we wanted to really reduce or completely eliminate from our day that was list number one so list number two then was our add to list right it was the things that we wanted to add into our life that we don't currently experience not not what we wanted to increase but things that we don't currently do or experiences we don't currently engage in that we wanted to go out and learn or go out and begin engaging in right I believe we used uh 10 to 15 new items right okay uh list number three was what we called our life design schedule or our dream schedule. That was going back and looking at the original list, our typical daily schedule, and creating one that got rid of the red items, that reduced the orange items, increased the green items, and then added in things from the add-on list. That was list number three basically creating your dream schedule not a vacation schedule i hope you you know really paid attention to that or if you're getting ready to do this pay attention this you're not creating a vacation you're actually creating your dream schedule and then the uh the fourth list that we did was actually our known challenges or are possible challenges, things that we think uh, may hinder us moving towards that new schedule, that new life, that new lifestyle, that new business that we actually want. And then we looked at the resources that we have available, that we know we have available. We also looked at resources that we believe if we put in a little bit of effort that we can go out and create for ourselves to help us overcome all of those challenges. Those were the four lists that we looked at in, uh, in session number two. So I stopped and paused for a second here. Did you participate in those lists? Okay, those lists are one of your resources. If you want to move forward in life, write it down. 
if you didn't write these lists out, you just tossed your, your chances uh, at, at getting this progress into the wind. So if you didn't do it, go back, session number two, and create your lists. So session number three, we actually help you begin to understand why it is that you want some of the things that you want in life and why you do the things that you do. And we did this by looking at what's called the six core human needs. And I personally love going through this because it's a way that I truly get to show a little bit of, of honor and respect for one of my main mentors, uh, Tony Robbins and the Robbins Madonna's coaching, where I got certified through. And we looked at those uh, six core human needs. The four uh, first ones are actually considered the personality needs, right? You took notes on this, right? So it was uh, certainty being number one. Everybody wants to feel a little bit of comfort and consistency and uh, almost a feeling that they know what's coming next. However, uh, need number two sort of contradicts that because it's variety. Right? We don't want 100% of the same things over and over. We want some, some variety. We want something different here and there, whether that be a little bit or a lot. We all need a little bit of variety. Number three on that list was cert, uh, significance. Okay, We all want to feel important in some way, shape, or form and at some level. So that was number number three. Number four on the list is love and connection. Right? Everybody needs to feel love. We need to feel connected. Okay? The last two on the list are the spiritual needs, which is growth and contribution. Okay? Everyone needs to feel like we're growing, like we're learning something new, uh, like we're out there becoming a little bit more than we were yesterday. And contribution, that we're actually delivering value, not just offering value because you can offer value all day long but if other people don't receive it if they're not accepting of it it still leaves us feeling empty so we need to know that we're actually delivering value and in a way where we're not expecting to to uh, get something back from that so after we discuss the importance of these six human needs for everyone we looked at how each one of us fulfills these needs in a variety of ways, okay? Um, through different interactions, different items that, that we want in our life, meaning like literal items, clothing, cars, houses, things that we purchase or own or, or have access to, as well as through experiences. And then we looked at how each individual item or experience can actually fulfill these needs maybe one of them, maybe two of them, maybe all of them, and that each individual item will fulfill these needs at a different level. And when you start getting items or experiences that fulfill the majority or all of these at higher levels, how it literally becomes an addiction for us. Okay. So again, the question is, did you engage with these? Did you take notes? Did you look at some of the things that you have in your life or that you desire moving forward in life and pay attention to why is it that I want that? What is it that I'm looking to that item or experience or relationship, business, whatever it is for you, what is that going to, which of these six needs is that going to fulfill for me? Because when you begin to learn uh, at this level, when you begin to become self-aware at this level, it helps you understand your path. It helps guide you moving forward, and it also helps you forget and eliminate and, and walk away from some of the destructive stuff from your past and possibly from your uh, present experience. So in session four, we looked at our personal foundations and belief systems. Right? We looked at the three different levels of, of self, which is the for me, meaning, you know, out of what I want and what I do in life, how does it benefit me? Second level was for others. How do I offer value? How do I deliver value and benefit other people uh, in what I want 
think, say, do, that sort of thing. And then level number three is what we call the for God, meaning how do I live my life so that I'm honoring my own existence or what I personally believe to be my God, my creator, my, my source of existence, okay? We went on to look at how these, these three levels are like different versions of our self, uh, like a, a different uh, version of who we actually are. And then we, we looked at how thinking about this as maybe a level of intent, okay? My intention in how I live my life is to benefit me or to benefit others or just to honor the greatest possible good, uh, you know, uh, of my God or my creator, whatever that belief is for you. Then we went on in session four to really look at how living from that highest level is without fail the best choice we can make. Because by doing that, if, if you live at the for me level, that's the only benefit you get. If you move up one level, then you get the benefit of both. But if you live at that highest level, without question, without fail, you get the most benefit because you get benefits from all three of those levels, those perspectives, that, that intent, right? Okay. And then we, uh, we finished by doing a call to action again, by asking you to step out of your comfort zone, go down into the comments, and actually share some experiences that you had had recently where you could recognize what level was I, was I working at at that point. What level did I make that decision from? Did I engage in that action from? Or, or did I? is that belief that I have, what level is it at? Is it a belief where I'm looking at just, you know, helping out myself? Or is that belief level, uh, you know, what level or what stage is it at? So, did you engage? Did you participate? Did you take those notes? I believe I made it pretty clear. It's not easy to do this. It's very simple and it's always worth it, but it's not easy because it's something different. It's something maybe you've never heard before. So engage, step outside of that comfort zone and get engaged. Make it personal for you so that you can benefit from the, the results from it. So session five was one of my favorites because session five, we literally walk you through the process of reinventing yourself or your, I should say your life and your lifestyle, right? We revisited the lists from session two and we actually walked you through redoing them, creating a new daily schedule. And was it different? Had you actually over that, you know, four or five week period, had you implemented some of those changes? Did you expand upon your list of what today looks like? And did you expand upon your add-on list? Did you think of some new things based on the perspective you learned in sessions three and four? Your, your new dream schedule or life design schedule, was it bigger and, and did it include more things? Did the resource list grow? Did you have more resources available or think of things that you could do moving forward to get access to more resources, right? And then we did something else and I, I wanna actually read from my notes here because we looked and we shared that elite perspective of living in what we call seasons, meaning being willing to uh, grasp the understanding and, and accept it actually almost look forward to letting go of some things. Whatever that may be in your life that right now you, you feel you can't really let go of, but you would like to, finding a way, being willing to let go of that so that you open up space mentally, emotionally, spiritually, time-wise, financially to bring in some of the things that were in your add-to list or to um, to build upon some of the things that you had highlighted in green, some of what you already do but you want more of, or new experiences you've never done. We, we call that, uh, it's a technique of called living in seasons, meaning I have this now, but it's time for that to go away. 
so something new can come into my life. So there were a couple of more things we looked at in session five. And that was, uh, we, we actually acknowledged that progress requires sa some level of sacrifice, right? Okay. And we looked at uh, how we can pay a discount price for success. How do we do that? Remember, we, we, we accept giving up that story that we had to pay this huge price for success. Okay? I, it's a story that you actually have people out there teaching. You know, share this, share your story on what it cost you. You know, people will gravitate to you from that. But the reality is, most people, they have never and they will never give up everything to get the success they say they want. They can't relate to that. It makes a great movie. And it does make an emotional and grabbing story. But the reality is, most of us can't truly relate to that. You want a relatable story? Let's talk about the guy or the, or, you know, the, the, the man or the woman that maintains their job. They maintain raising their family, paying their bills, um, you know, just everyday responsibilities. And they still, from that point, they still take the steps to get to where they need to be. When somebody's lost it all, they have nothing else to lose. So go for it. But when you've got everything to lose and you still go for it, man, that's a story I want to hear. The reality is we all have a story and we all have hardships. Keep the process simple and watch everything in life change. I'm a coach. I'm not a caretaker. Okay, I'm offering actual free coaching sessions online as a hand up, not as a handout, right? Why are they free? Because there's a catch. You actually have to do the work. You got to step outside your comfort zone and you have to engage and you have to participate. So get off your butt and do this for yourself. Yes, it's going to be uncomfortable at times. Yes, the steps that I share are going to seem way too simple. And that's what's going to make it really hard to stay engaged because your natural mind, your natural thoughts and perspectives are going to say, this is too simple. It's too generic. It's never going to work. Do it anyway. Okay. Thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people have used simple techniques all over the world and got amazing results from it. Do it anyway. When you do, you win. Okay, so call to action again. Get outside your comfort zone. Go down, like the video, subscribe to the channel, so that ring the bell so you get your notifications. Stay engaged. Go back through in the go down to the descriptions. Go back through the uh, uh, the links. Walk back through the videos. Keep an eye out for the new ones, and do this for yourself. All right. Ask any questions you have. Share any comments you have. Encourage every anyone else that's leaving comments. And until next time, live awesome and enjoy your journey.